Hello everyone, my name is Josh with Connected Camps and I'm going to be showing you how to download, install, and set up mCreator for your Windows or Mac computer. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google or whatever search engine you use and go ahead and type in mCreator. Search that up and you're going to be taken to the very first site here, mCreator, the best Minecraft mod maker ever. I click on the download button right here, it gets us to where we're going even faster. You're going to see some ads here, don't worry about that. The main thing we're looking for is this little download button right here. We're going to get the version that we're in, how up to date it is, um, but just this little download button is all we need to worry about. When you click on that, you're going to have more ads here, don't uh, click any of these. Before you go any further, make sure you know what type of computer and operating system you have. On the screen right now, we have a Windows computer option and a Mac computer option. Make sure you download the correct one accordingly. I'm going to be doing the Windows download option because I am on a Windows computer. We're going to worry about whatever's inside the box. Go ahead and look for the EXE installer and usually go for a 64-bit EXE. This is the one you're mainly going to be using. The other one should be grayed out depending on what your computer can handle, but usually 64-bit EXE is the one you're looking for. When we click download, it should automatically start installing down here. Don't worry about clicking anything else on the page right now. You can honestly exit out of this. We're just going to wait for this download to uh, finish. Once your download has finished, go ahead and open it up. Your computer might ask you if it's okay to make changes to your computer or ask if it is safe. Say yes, say allow, it is completely safe, completely harmless. And once you do that, you will download it, install it, and you should be presented with something that looks like this. Your brand new M creators won't have these on the side here. These are projects I have worked on, so yours should be empty, um, and that's totally okay. The important part, and probably the most important part, of M Creator right now before you hop into one of our classes is you create a new workspace and you let M Creator load everything up. Um, M Creator is a little weird where they have a very long loading time usually when you first start it up. So we're gonna get around that so we don't have to do that in class by creating a new workspace right now. Go ahead and hit the big green plus here. This part might look confusing but there's only one thing you have to worry about and that is the mod display name. For now, since we're just making a little test run, go ahead and just name it test. Go ahead and name it first mod, whatever you want. Um, I don't think there can be spaces here. Um, oh, all right, it does let you have spaces, but there's a little underscore. Name it whatever you want. This part is not super important. We're gonna be making a new workspace in class together, but it's really important that we set this up first before class. Go ahead and click create new workspace down here. Something might pop up, it might take you to a internet tab, you can exit out of that. This is the important part right here. It's gonna set up your workspace by setting up Gradle project files. This is the part that could take a while, usually does take a while for new computers and older computers. Um, so it's really important that you just try to get this going before class starts so you aren't waiting and the class doesn't have to wait for everyone to get this going. Usually it takes about 5 to 10 minutes, but we have seen it go on for 20 minutes. So you'll know it's done when that whole box disappears. It says build successful right here. Um, and you can go over to this workspace tab. Other than that, you are all ready to go. Thank you for watching the tutorial video and go back to any point in the video if you're having troubles or go ahead and message the counselor on the OutSchool Classroom page and they will try to help you out. Thank you.